we're given the vector divided function r of t, which we'll call the position vector divided function, and we're asked to find the velocity and acceleration vectors at t equals one, and also the speed at t equals one. So to find the velocity and acceleration vectors, we'll first find the velocity vector divided function v of t, which is equal to r prime of t, then we'll evaluate this at t equals one to find the velocity vector at t equals one. Then we'll find the acceleration vector divided function a of t, which is equal to the derivative of the velocity vector divided function, or the second derivative of the position vector divided function. And then we'll evaluate this at t equals one to find the acceleration vector, and then we'll find the speed by determining the magnitude at t equals one by determining the magnitude of v of one. Because we'll also look at this graphically, let's also determine the point on the space curve where we're determining the velocity and acceleration vectors. So the point on the curve would be the terminal point of r of one. So let's begin by determining r of one. So r of one would be equal to, we'd have an x component of negative five times one, a y component of negative three times one squared, and a z component of four times one to the fourth plus three. So the x component would be negative five, the y component would be negative three, and the z component would be four plus three or seven. So this tells us we're determining the velocity and acceleration vectors at the point on the curve negative five comma negative three comma seven. And again, once we find these vectors and the speed, we'll take a look at this graphically. So now we'll determine the velocity vector divided function v of t, which is equal to r prime of t. So the x component would be the derivative of negative five t with respect to t, that'd be negative five. The y component would be the derivative of negative three t squared, that'd be negative six t and the z component would be the derivative of four t to the fourth plus three, that would be 16 t to the third. And therefore the velocity vector at t equals one would be v of one. So we'd have an x component of negative five, a y component of negative six times one, and a z component of 16 times one to the third. So our velocity vector has an x component of negative five, a y component of negative six, and a z component of 16. And now we'll determine the acceleration vector divided function, a of t, which is equal to v prime of t, or r double prime of t. And since we just found the velocity vector divided function here, we'll take the derivative of these three components with respect to t. So the x component would be zero, the y component would be negative six, and the z component would be 48t squared, since three times 16 equals 48. And therefore the acceleration vector at t equals one or a of one would have an x component of zero, a y component of negative six, and a z component of 48 one squared, so we have components zero comma negative six comma 48. So we answered the first two parts of this question. We found the velocity vector at t equals one. We found the acceleration vector at t equals one. And for the last step, we're asked to find the speed at t equals one, which would be the magnitude of v of one, or the magnitude of our velocity vector here. So the speed at t equals one equals, we'd have the square root of negative five squared plus negative six squared plus 16 squared. And now we'll go to the calculator to get our decimal approximation. So second x squared brings up the square root, and then we have negative five in parentheses squared plus in parentheses, negative six squared, and plus 16 squared.
So the speed at t equals one would be approximately 17.8045 units per second if we assume time t is in seconds. Let's take a look at this graphically. In purple, we see the graph of the space curve. When t equals one, this is the point on the curve. This tangent vector here is our velocity vector at t equals one. And this light blue or light green vector here is our acceleration vector, a of one. I hope you found this helpful.